First and foremost, and on behalf of MSC Golf, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to PGM under the leadership and foresight of Tun Ahmed Sarji for taking the lead in supporting and investing in the future of golf in Malaysia. We are very pleased and proud to have the opportunity to be part of the PGM Peak Performance Academy, its development, planning and delivery, which offers students a unique opportunity to train under similar conditions as the world's best players. We currently have the most successful junior player development program in the region, having produced six Malaysian world junior champions by age group. A, a, a feat in itself. We have also had the privilege to support Zion Derby Yayasan in successful planning and execution of the Zion Derby LPGA Malaysia development program for the best female players in the country over the last two years. As a homegrown Malaysian company with patriotism, patriotism in our hearts, it is our quest to drive and produce champions in all ranks from juniors and amateurs to national and professional tour players. We're very proud and honored to have been selected as the golf instruction service provider for the new PGM, Peak Performance Golf Academy. This new academy will provide the most advanced technical support services available in Southeast Asia for PGM professionals and top amateur golfers. The PGM Peak Performance Play Development Program is the most comprehensive and holistic training program covering skills in all areas of technical, physical, mental and strategy, specifically for professional tour players to meet the demands of peak performance play in professional tournaments. A very good morning, Yang Amat Berbahagia Tuan Ahmad Sarji bin Abdul Hamid, the Chairman of Professional Golf of Malaysia. My name is Hajar Yasmin, and I am the General Affairs Manager of PGM. It's so good to see everyone here again in support of PGM as well as MST. Thank you all for taking the time off your very busy schedules to join us this morning on this auspicious occasion. Today, as we hit another milestone, you will witness the contract signing ceremony between PGM and MST Golf. He always says, you have to be very passionate about your job and what you do. A man who always aspires to be the very best in what he does and a person who dares to dream and is so committed about getting things done and making things happen. He is none other than our mentor and our leader. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to our chairman, Yang Amat Berbahagia Tuan Ahmad Sarji bin Abdul Hamid, as he journeys you through his success story and thereafter witness the contract signing ceremony. Dengan segala hormatnya, dipersilakan Yang Amat Berbahagia Tuan. First of all, uh, it has not been an easy task for PGM to identify our partner. I had contact with the British PGA, the European Tour, and I have heard good remarks about MST. And then I visited the headquarters, made friends with Paul and Dean, and a few others, consulted my, my staff, and including Sandabi, of course, and now you are our joint venture partner. Most welcome, Paul and the rest of you. <laughs> Regarding this academy, Paul has said all that is to be said. Um, it is, I confirm that all what Paul has said truly are the objectives behind the formation of this academy. Not only the academy will impart the technical skills, but other things as well. Behavior, attitudes, mental, and other things that Paul has very kindly mentioned. Thank, first of all, the 
that uh, Yamagoma Menteri for supporting this program. I remember seeing him with a, with a big piece of uh, project paper and explained to him the details of this academy, the costing, the budget, and the potential candidates. And he fully supported this academy, especially when he noted that the participants of this academy will comprise young golfers, budding golfers. He said that uh, this academy would have to be the incubator of the budding from golf professionals of Malaysia. Quite true, Paul, that 2016 is the target of the government, and uh, we have uh, four years to work on this. The ages, as you know, are 16 to 25 or so, so they would be by then below 30, and still in the prime of their career. But much depends, of course, on number one, the efficacy of your training, uh, yet to be tested, as you know. That is the reason why Ron and, and me, we agree that they should be given exemption to participate in the PGM tour events. A good example is Ramaya, he's around this place. Until, until at this vintage age, he still participates in PGM tournaments, still makes the cut, and he still is in the top 50 in Malaysia. So Ramaya is a prime example of a good professional. We would like to produce professionals better than Ramaya, if possible, through this academy. The only thing we can do is conceptualize this program, provide the budget, but much depends on the attitude of the participants. That is why I have already told Ron that there is nothing much that we can do. We subsidize these offers, but we are not looking on our own for their sponsorship. Some of them want, have requested PGM to seek sponsors for them. And that would be great things, exceeding our charter. So to answer your question, a result of the 
continuous PGM tour. We have not failed in any event yet to uh, conduct this tour. As a result of the qualifying schools and peak pre-qualifying, and as a result of our strictness in enforcing the rules and regulations, we have been able to, to see low, low scores. Why only one player, one golfer qualified in the Malaysian Open is for them to answer, not for PGM. We have PGM which runs the tour. MST runs the academy. So there is a symbiosis here. And therefore, our relationship is almost logical. But then, it's very important for a PGM to have good networking with other organizations. Firstly, with Sun Dhabi, of course, being the number one company in Malaysia. In this end, we, we are doing two things. One, PGM, together with Asia Tour, have this ADT tournament. For example, this year we have six. Six, which is the largest number of ADT tournaments in Asia. And therefore, we are playing the predominant role in organizing, in organizing ADT tournaments through which if you become champion in ADT, you get automatic exemption to Asia Tour. The second avenue is an assurance by Asia Tour that our order of merit, at least the first time, would be considered for the Asia Tour. So that is the responsibility of the PGM. But we could no further do more than this because it has got to be handled by either their managers or by their respective organizations. The PGM's charter is just to organize and promote professional golf, but not to take the welfare of golfers into our hands. That would be the responsibility of their managers, their employees, or their employers, their sponsors, or their own PGM, PGAM. At the end of the first year of PGM tournament, I can't see anybody. Sorry to say. At the end of this year, I may be able to see. And my judgment would purely be, purely be based on the scores that I see. So to answer your question, I have no answer. <laughs> Except wait until the end of this year. <laughs> if any guy end of this year can shoot 68, Four rounds are uh, potential for elimination of work. But sometimes you shoot a 68 on simple courses. It has got to be done here. So when we had our PGM classic last year here, I think the CCM, only one guy shot over par, uh, under par, the winner. The rest of the Malaysians shot over par. So this year, Shaban managed to shoot under par. So Shaban can prove to you that you can shoot under par on this one, on this course. But then you have to shoot 18 under par here to win, isn't it? <laughs> if you bring your score down one per year, it takes 18 years to bring it under par. <laughs> but that is, not the, the, that is not the way. You should be scoring 67 and below four rounds. Then you can win a Malaysian Open. I don't see any, any way that you can shoot one under to win a Malaysian Open. I don't see how you can win one under. I followed Louis Wilson for two successive days, watched the way he played. I think the way he struck at the balls, same like Laramaya also. He said he's more accurate, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but the skills are all there. But he will his ball to the green and next to the green. I watched him for two days, followed him. That's how he did it. And Tiger Wood used the word, I want 3,000 reps. Rep, what, reps mean repetitions. If you can repeat those, because you are not teaching now in the academy. It's all about repeating the good shots. And Malaysians must repeat their good shots. I think that's what the academy is there for. Yeah. We're still looking for one instructor. Tony. <laughs> <laughs>